Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I have a bonus episode from a build tutorial series that finished a little while ago on my channel, where I showed you how to build a house for all of the villager professions. Since then I've had quite a lot of people request that I make a house for the nitwit villager, so that's what we're going to be doing today, building a house in the same style as the others, but for the average Joe. As always, here is a list of materials for the build. At the top here, we have all of our spruce variants that we're going to be using. We've got pretty much all of them included in this build. And then just below that, we have all of our oak variants that we're going to be using. A little bit less for them. And then on the next row, we have the rest of our main building blocks, which is white terracotta, bricks, slabs, stairs, and walls. And then below that, we have all of our miscellaneous items. So some glass panes, some campfires, a chain, some lanterns, some cyan wall, and cyan carpet. Of course, these colors can be interchanged, but I'd recommend keeping it the same as the bed, maybe. And these four flower pots, you're going to need four different flowers or saplings or ferns or something like that to go inside of them. And then the rest of the blocks at the bottom here are more miscellaneous items that are just going to be going on the inside. And you're going to need a food product to go in the item frame and maybe some armor to go on your armor stand. So here is the size and layout of the build. It's roughly nine by seven blocks. And the first thing we're gonna do here is grab our strip spruce logs and place them on top of all of the orange blocks. And once you've got that done, you can then place three more on top of the one you already have placed down for a total of four block high pillars. Once you've got all eight pillars built up, the next thing we're gonna do is come to the top block here in all of the outside corners and place in a spruce plank, just like so. And then underneath all of those, we're gonna have ourselves a spruce trap door. Try and make sure they're all facing the same direction. It doesn't really matter, but it'll look a little bit off maybe if you have one facing sideways. And once you've got all of those placed down, we're then going to come to the front of the build here. So one of these five wide sections, and we're going to start off next to this uh, spruce plank that we already have a regular stair with an upside down one just behind it. And then we're going to do the same on this side too. And then we're going to have ourselves a spruce trap door in front as well as on top on both of the two sides, of course. And then we're just going to have a temporary block here on top of both of those with a spruce stair upside down like that. Go ahead and replace the temporary block with a spruce slab like so. And then you can have another slab here in the middle. You can then also repeat this onto the other five wide section around the back here. Once you've got the outline for the roof for the front and the back done, we can then move around to the two sides here. And we're going to start off once again with another stair just next to our spruce plank here on both sides. Then an upside down stair following that and basically just repeat that pattern and staircase all the way up to the top until they eventually meet in the middle where we can have an upside down stair here. And then we can have a regular stair on top with an upside down one just out the front there. And of course copy it around to the other side too. As for filling out the rest of the roof, we're going to grab our oak stairs and slabs and starting just on one of these, it doesn't matter because they're all the same of course, we're going to place a oak slab next to this spruce trap door and another one up here on this block. And then we're just going to switch over to our oak stairs and place it on top of this pillar block and then we're going to place three along there and then one more round to the side here. And then we're just going to move up to this top level and basically do the same again. So that's four stairs across the back and then the final one is curved round to the side. So that's what one of the sections look like. You can then do it three more times to complete the roof. Now we can start work on the four walls here. So we're going to come to the front of the house and grab our spruce door and we're going to place it down on this block right here. So as you can see, it's one block away from the right hand side and we've got three blocks on the left hand side. The next thing to do is grab your brick blocks and we're going to have a full brick block either side of the door, then a brick stair and then another full block. And then on top of the stair, we're going to have one and two glass panes. And then we basically just want to fill the rest in here with our white terracotta until you've got it all nicely filled in and you just have the door with the window. Go ahead and grab your brick walls and place one either side of the spruce door here. And on top of both of those, we're going to have some spruce fences. And now what we actually need to do is get rid of these two spruce trap doors because we're going to be having a line of oak slabs on top of those fences. And as you can see, you are now unable to place a spruce trap door on this block. So just to keep with the symmetry, I'm going to get rid of it on the left hand side too. 
But next up, we're going to go ahead and place two oak fences sideways next to those white terracotta blocks. And we're going to flick them open so that this bit faces the window here. And we're basically going to crouch and place in two spruce trap doors, flick them upwards. And that makes a cool little shutter design for the window to cover up if need be. And the final touch is to have a lantern underneath this oak slab here. Now we can move around to the back of the build here and the first thing we're going to do is place in three brick blocks with one block in between where we can then have our brick stairs. And same as we did for the front, we're going to go ahead and place on two glass panes on top of both of those stairs and then also the same as we did for the front, basically go ahead and fill the rest in with our white terracotta here. And then what we can do is grab two spruce fence gates and place them in front of this top window here, open them on up and place in a spruce trap door above them. The two sides here are identical, so I'll just show you how to do one of them. And we're going to start off with five white terracotta blocks on either side just next to the pillars here. One at the top and one at the bottom with three glass panes in the center there. We're going to have a brick slab underneath these glass panes with two brick stairs upside down either side. We can then have two spruce fences on top of the upside down brick stairs and an oak slab on top of them. And then go up by half a block and place in another one like so. And the final touch is to have a flower pot here with something to go inside of it. And of course you can copy that round to the other side over here. The final thing to do for the exterior is actually round to this back corner over here. So it doesn't really matter which side, just one of them round the back. And we're basically going to make a wood pile here. So it doesn't particularly matter how you do this, but if you want to copy me block for block, then just follow along. We're going to have an oak log here facing upwards in the corner. And then in front of this brick block, we're going to have another one of them. We're going to have an oak log here horizontally facing forwards. And then we're going to stick a campfire and extinguish it like that. And then we can turn around to the side here and place another horizontal oak log. And then we're very simply just going to have two more campfires on those two spots and extinguish them. Maybe this nitwit can be the unofficial villager profession of the lumberjack. So there we go. That is the exterior of the nitwit's house all done. We can now head inside and start work here. First things first, we can go ahead and grab our strip spruce logs and from this three high window here, we're going to add in a horizontal beam going all the way across from one side to the other. And then we can also have two more going to the front and the back. And now what we need to do underneath these two blocks here on all of the corners, add in two oak slabs underneath those. And then for each of these four blocks here, we're going to add in some upside down oak stairs and curve them round to the side like so. So you need to place two here and then change over to the other direction and place in two more. And you can do that for the other two sides as well, just like that. And there we go. That is the ceiling all done. Now time for the floor. And of course, the first thing to do is break away all of the grass blocks here. And we're going to replace them with some stripped oak logs. Now, you don't really have to place these in a certain order. You could just have them going all the way across horizontally or vertically or maybe switching up the pattern. It's entirely up to you. But what I'm going to do here is kind of make a crisscross checkerboard pattern. So we're going to place them with a block in between each of them. And then we're pretty much going to be placing them on the side of the block all the time. So that is what the first row looks like. And then, of course, we can place it on the side here and then you basically repeat that pattern until you reach all the way over and the floor would be complete. So as you can see, that is our floor design, maybe something a little bit different than to just placing them down all in the same direction. Now the ceiling and the floor is all done, we can start adding in some of our furnishings. And the first thing is going to be a bookshelf and it's going just to the left of our doorway here. So we're going to place one right to the left of the door or left to the left. <laughs> and then we're going to leave this block open and place in two more above it and then two more here. You can place a bookshelf there, but it would be a bit of a waste as you can't really see it. On this top block, we're going to have a lantern and on this one, we're going to have ourselves a flower pot. We can then turn over to this window over here. So the opposite side to the bookshelves and we're going to have a spruce fence in the middle with a spruce pressure plate on top. And then either side of that, we're going to have two oak stairs with a sign on the side of them just to make a nice little table and chairs. And then directly above that pressure plate, we're going to have ourselves a chain with a lantern hanging down from below. 
Over here by our bookshelf, we're gonna leave a single block gap and then beside that one, we're gonna have our bed. And in the corner over here, we can have an upside down oak stair with another flower pot and something to go inside of it. Now, one block diagonally towards the bookshelves in the doorway. So this block right here, we're gonna go ahead and break that one as well as this one and then this one as well. So as you can see, those are the blocks you're breaking. We're gonna replace them with some cyan wool or whatever color bed you have or different, it's entirely up to you. And on these three blocks, we're going to have ourselves a cyan carpet. This is just meant to be a rug, and we've got the carpet added in there just to get that little bit of extra added depth to make it look like the shaggy carpet rug it's meant to be. On the side over here with two windows, we're going to go ahead and place in a crafting table in the center here with a furnace just beside it. And now we want to have ourselves a detector rail on top of the furnace as some sort of cooking hob. And if it's facing this way, you may actually need another rail just to make it go sideways. It looks a little bit better that way. And then on top of the crafting table, we can go ahead and crouch and place an item frame down and put our food inside of it. I'm choosing a cooked cod, but as I said, it's entirely up to you. This has just been finished cooking and is ready for our nitwit to consume. <laughs> and then just above that on this wall, we're going to have ourselves a banner. Can be any color, but I've chosen light gray here. This is just meant to be a towel. As you can see, the bottom half of the banner kind of disappears into the block, which is absolutely fine. But either side of our crafting table and our furnace, we're going to go ahead and flick up some spruce trap doors like that. And the very final thing we need to do is add in our armor stand on this block here just to the left diagonally away from this chair here. And of course, you can go ahead and throw some armor onto this armor stand. But instead of iron, gold, diamond, or netherite, I've actually chosen to use leather here. And I've gone ahead and dyed it so that it looks more like clothes instead of actual armor, which I think suits the nitwit a little bit more. So there we go everybody, that is the Knitwit's house all done. I hope you guys did enjoy watching this video and it helped you out if you're choosing to build this and of course if you want to check out some of the other villager profession houses we built as a part of this series, go and check out the playlist that this video is in. So thank you everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.